envelopes all packed and ready to go mike is just um i've actually set up something wrong on patreon so i haven't done the benefits right uh, but mike's just going through them all manually and he's going to print off all the labels and then we're going to add the little marshy stamp to the top of this all i'm going to use a command clip and hang this outside the catnip cafe because how cool would it be to change the catnip cafe based on the seasons let's hope hopefully this should work and it should hold into place What do you think? Do you think this is too far up? Or do you think that's about the right size outside the catnip cafe? It'd be so cute to change this as the seasons. Like I need to get a Christmas one. I feel like maybe it should be a bit further down. Got it just hooked over the back of the command hook here, can you see? So it's just hooked. I still need to paint this door. Still got so much to do. Or I could maybe hook the command hook on the other side oh i dropped it i don't know it doesn't look right i asked you guys on instagram what position i should do the reef in and everyone said higher so i think the original position should be higher up so just a little bit up there oh my gosh the bags under my eyes are horrendous i'm literally so tired can you tell Hello guys and welcome to another studio vlog. So it is mine and Dean's wedding month. We are getting married in less than a week. We're actually having two weddings. Now if you watch my personal channel, you would already know this, but basically we haven't had two weddings because of COVID. Our main wedding, we couldn't legally get married at because the registrar wasn't available on that date and we didn't get many date options. So we're having a legal ceremony, a very small, intimate wedding next week uh, for our legal marriage, then a big party the week after. So as you can probably see, I've got huge eye bags. I'm also typically having a breakout on my face and my face hurts so much, like acne. Oh my gosh, it hurts so much to touch. And there's just so much going on. So I kind of feel like the majority of August is kind of going to be a write-off in terms of business. I really wanted to get the Memento Mori Halloween collection sorted, but it'll have to be at the back end of the month. 
Today I'm basically going to focus on wedding stuff. I've just designed my table plan and got it sent off using printed.com. I'm getting it printed off on foam board. I also thought I could get it printed and keep it as an art print because it's got all my family and friends names on. We also have a couple of Disney quotes on as well. And I also need to create in this vlog some place cards. I know it's not really anything to do with work, but maybe you like wedding stationery or maybe you have a wedding stationery business or something like that. Uh, so I'm going to design, do my place cards and I also need to make my like, you know, table numbers up that you can put on the tables. So I need to do that too. So there's a lot going on. I also have to make the Marshy Mail Club rewards up and I asked everyone on Patreon, I did a poll, what character they would like to see for the August Marshy Mail. And the majority said that they would love to see Ginger and Spice's wedding. So it's going to be wedding themed to kind of celebrate me and Dean getting married as well. So I'm going to design those today as well. I also have a Patreon Marshy Zoom call tonight as well. So there's a lot going on because tomorrow's my hen do. Um, it's going to be a late one in the studio. And as you can see, I am looking a little rough, but I am in really cosy clothes today. I haven't even got earrings in because it's just going to be one of those days that we graft. So this is what our table plan looks like. We've got all the guests just here but i've took them off obviously uh, for, for privacy reasons uh, but at the top i just changed this color this was already a design on canva laid out similar to this but i just changed the color to this really dusky pink which is kind of the theme of the wedding uh added these roses so it was like beauty and the beast style and at the top here it says be our guest and then dean and Catherine, and then it says tie your napkin around your neck surely you will provide the rest i just I thought that was really cool because there's a lot of subtle Disney kind of hints throughout um, our wedding. So what I'm thinking for the table numbers, I'm just going to literally do them myself. I think I've got some hammered textured card in the cupboard so I'm going to see what I can get out and I think I'm just going to double side them. I'll print them and mount them using spray glue um, and I'm just going to keep the design really simple to match the table plan. So it's going to be like pink and it's just going to say like table one table two but then add that rose detail so that's what I'm going to do right now so let's get to work on that shall we okay so I'm thinking something really simple for the table numbers uh, and I'm thinking just let us be our guest and then we've got one and then we've got these roses in this soft pink I think that should look really nice and then we've got our wedding date just down here so I think that looks really cute I'm gonna see it I'm gonna print this out and see what it looks like and I think I'm going to get this place hold of the butterflies on. It's in gold. And then I can just put the um, piece of card, like the pink card, on top here. And the butterflies have add like a little fantasy theme. This is just on Amazon for £9. I only need 10 yeah, I need 10, so that's perfect. So I've got some textured paper. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but it's really, really nicely textured. Um, and I managed to find it. It's a good job we keep these things because they come in handy. I actually got this, I can't even remember what for, something to do with catnip and didn't end up using it. So this textured paper should look really, really nice. Okay, so I've printed them out and I've just printed them on an A4 sheet like this. And I've just folded them in half and it's worked really, really well. I printed them as borderless and I'm just going to put them in the spray booth and spray some spray glue inside here. I probably don't need to do that, but it's just to keep it all together so it doesn't look like this. The only thing is, our wedding day, the thing is probably going to cover it, like the sticky thing is probably going to cover it, but... Yeah, they look quite pretty. I had to change the colour because the first one came out a little too grey and purple. So I did change the colour of that and they're just printing away. So I'm going to put these all together, I think.
so this is what they look like they look so good i used a ruler to score down here so it was flat so you couldn't tell it was folded and it just looks kind of double-sided and they're all stuck together now so these look really really pretty and i think i'm going to round them to see what it looks like um i think it'll look pretty and just finish it all off rounded so there'll be a gold little thing here that's going to probably cover our date and that'll go on the table with our centerpieces really easy to do just print them off on a hammered paper and fold in half and then glue them down and you've got yourself a nice top table and table number so I thought it was so easy to like make these that I decided to actually make some for our small and intimate wedding the week before. So I've done exactly the same but I've named the tables after Disney princesses. There's only four tables because it's very small. We've got Table Jasmine, Mel, Aurora and Cinderella. So I've just got a new lens for this camera. And it's literally just arrived. It's a brand new Tamron 11mm to a 20mm. It's just come out, but look how wide it looks. So it's a catnip cafe, it looks so titchy. Well, it is anyway. Anyway, right now we are on to creating place cards. So, this is what I've designed so far. So, what I'm doing is I'm just printing them out onto this piece of paper like this. So, it's on an A5 sheet. Can you see? I don't think we can fit five on because it cuts off, and I'm just using the same textured paper. And then, all I do is I cut it out on my cutter and fold it in half and this is what they look like but everything's looking a bit more purple than pink but it's looking pretty cute am i right so now i've got like 92 guests to print out so i'm having a complete nightmare i sent off for the table plan and i've missed off a whole table it started at table two and then i was like what's going on here i'm sure i've got all the guests and i looked and i missed off the whole of table one and i don't know how i've done it and i've sent off so i ran printed but unfortunately there's nothing they can do so they gave me uh, very kindly a free shipping code and i'm just gonna have to reorder it i just feel like kicking myself like i've just wasted like 16 pounds and i'm gonna end up with this board that'll arrive i'll have to reuse a board for something i don't know oh god it's just one of those days anyway i'm gonna head off to boots and go get some dinner with dean and we're actually going to get our wedding perfume and aftershave so we're gonna set off now this is something that i'd heard about before and not really knew much about so basically you get a special perfume or aftershave that you wouldn't normally use and on your wedding day you spray yourself with it then you're always reminded whenever you wear that perfume on aftershave maybe for anniversaries for presents for each other going on special date nights together and um, yeah get some wedding perfume and stuff and also get some lunch because I'm starving and I'm here till very late tonight Oh my god, my egg just exploded in the microwave. What the heck? How do you poach an egg in a microwave again? I was trying to get a aesthetic video of my avocados and eggs on toast and now I've got a disaster in the microwave. Okay, this time it worked. Oh, right, okay. Time to start that scene again. That was a bit of an epic fail, but we got there in the end. It also doesn't look very nice because I've just smushed it on the plate. 
It's a little boat in the distance there, a little fishing boat. The sea looks so blue. Okay, I finished eating my super aesthetic eggs on toast and I've got something to show you. It's my new friend! So, if you've seen on Instagram, oh, I've got my settings on this camera so messed up right now, hang on. So if you've seen on my Instagram, I love hosting Halloween parties and I ordered this massive inflatable uh, to use on my Halloween party, but I am so excited for Halloween. I feel like it's Christmas. I always decorate my house uh, for the autumn period. Yes, it's the end of August, but who cares? I start it in September. And this arrived, but notice this little guy over here. His eyes are full of absolute chaos. I decided to make him into a character and I just did a little illustration. Let me show you, it's in my studio. So this is a little owl character that I ended up making based off the little inflatable over there. And look how cute he is. He's so chaotic. His eyes are so chaotic, but I need a name for him. So I asked you guys on Instagram, but I really like the name Twix for some reason. He just really reminds me of a Twix. So, I don't know, should I make him into a little sticker set? Or just like Twix the Chaotic Owl? Who knows, let me know. Oh, my hair, why does it always do this when it's frizzy? I get like these little flicky bits. I straightened them out this morning, but it just... Anyway, honestly, this vlog has been so chaotic. I've got massive eye bags, look at these. I basically have had both my weddings now. I started this vlog, it must have been like four weeks ago. Yeah, three or four weeks ago, because I've been on my hen party. I've been and had both weddings. Here's my ring, hang on, let me show you. It's a Disney wedding ring. I know I'm one of those annoying Disney adults, but I don't even care. It's got these little stars in. It's got some gold stars and then some other stars with diamonds. Ta-da! I really, really love it. Um, and I bought it from Manchester, which you can see a vlog of it on my personal channel. But honestly, I have zero idea what content I've even got for this vlog. Like, I, I don't even know what I'm, I've filmed. So this could be a super short vlog from me, but I'm going to end it here so that I have a fresh mind for tomorrow and I can start a new vlog because literally, I honestly don't even know what what a film for you guys but i hope you enjoyed it nonetheless and i'll see you very freaking soon for the next one where we will finally be talking about the memento mori collection we'll be working on it this week and we're going to be working on all the halloween collections and some new stickers because i really need to get some new stickers on the shop so i'll see you in the next one all right then thanks so much for watching i love you goodbye